Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are in the kitchen cooking spaghetti with Steve Mumbo, president of Deerfield Media, and Steve Nugent, one of our new interns here. This is going to be a lot of fun, but first. It is going to be a great show. <laughs> first, I want to know, you guys have a special connection. I well, want to know about that. Uh, Steve and uh, <laughs> his father and I were roommates in college. And uh, we vacationed uh, every year for the past 23 years <laughs> together. And uh, Steve is one month here in Park City. And so he's our newest staff member. And uh, he's having an exciting time. And today was his first premiere of a special piece which was seen on Street Views this morning. And it was a wonderful piece. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you. On getting it done. And it was about you were coming to Park City and not having a room during Sundance, <laughs> so you had to go to the hostel. Yeah, the hostel was definitely a cool place. It's, you get to meet a lot of cool people there. And it's just really a great experiment, experience. And I recommend it to anyone coming to Park City who doesn't really have a place planned out. Well, we are so happy to have you both here, and even better, on the morning show, cooking spaghetti. So last time you were here, you did a multi-layer cake. It was a divine, and now it's spaghetti. Why yeah, spaghetti? I remember the day well. It was October 4th, and I was here on the cake show, which has gone viral. It has. And I have 10 <laughs> likes, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, yes. But today, we're cooking on the theme of how to cook without really cooking. That's my favorite kind of cooking, Yes, I'll admit. Yes. Because as Steve would understand, or many people that have houses here in the Park City area, and their college kids come home, they show up with friends. <laughs> and what do you do with them? They bring the refreshments, but they still want to be fed. So this episode yeah. is about how to feed people 10 or, or more for under $30, and make sure that they're satisfied. I and love it. Steve? Everyone always knows, what do you have to do? You gotta have the five Ps. The five Ps. So we're making our spaghetti, not from scratch, because I've had friends send me three pages of how to <laughs> make spaghetti sauce. Wonderful, but this is not what we're gonna do. We're not, we, we're scratching that. That's we are window. going with the five Ps. Five Ps, okay, I'm Prego. curious. Prego. <laughs> Puree. Puree. Paste. Paste, that's three, two more. We're in Parmesan. Suspense. Parmesan. <laughs> and last but not least, pasta. I love it, the five Ps, all right. So Steve's new at cooking, so <laughs> I have taken it upon myself to run the can opener, and he will be doing the actual <laughs> blending. Now what's great about this, when you first show up in Park City and you haven't been here quite a month, you probably only have two pots in one pan. So we have to do everything with two pots and one pan. So it's you want to get going, Steve? You ready? Okay, we're off to the races. Way. So the first there. ingredient in our spaghetti sauce is prego. There you go, Master Chef. So is it prego because it's a pea, or do you have an affinity, a natural liking to prego? You could use anything uh, that's out there, and it's pretty cool. There is our first pea. Perfect. Perfect. Now I'm going to shake it up here a little bit because. Instead of puree, I'd rather have crushed tomatoes in basil. This is a lot better than puree. So I'm going to open this can up here. All right, mixing it up. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the can opener is turning hard. So we're going to start in another location there. So, and, uh, Steve, what do you like to cook while he opens that can? Do you I'm have not the best chef. <laughs> I'm more of a PB and J guy, and uh -huh. anything easy I'll cook. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, not the best. What about when you go home? Does your mom have a special dish that you really like, or your dad, or your family members? Yeah, I think one of my favorite dishes my mom's cooked is her baked ziti. Baked she ziti. She makes really good baked ziti, uh -huh. and it's just great to come home to for sure. Sounds delicious. We're having an incredible amount of t difficulty with this can here. <laughs> Maybe try the other can opener. <laughs> okay. Perhaps right. we will have to go with puree. Well, while you do that, we're going to take a quick break and come okay. back with more of the five peas spaghetti with Steve and Steve. Uh -huh. We'll be right back. Okay. 
We are back in the kitchen cooking spaghetti with Steve and Steve. And who would have thought all those years ago when you met Steve's dad that one day you'd be cooking with his son in Park City, Utah on TV. That's right. And having can opener stress. Yes. <laughs> all right. It worked out, but maybe always make sure you have two can openers. Exactly. Yeah. So we started off on our five peas by putting in a jar of Prego. Now we're going to the second pea, which would have been puree, but we're going to use crushed tomatoes. And Steve, have at it. Another second pea. So those crushed tomatoes add that texture, kind of those spices. Yeah. Make it a little chunkier. And, and now we're going to put the paste in. For our third pea is the paste. All right. See, Steve, I think you're going to become a chef. <laughs> no more pea. You got to start today. somewhere, right? You do, you do. Now the paste is great because it will thicken up your sauce and it allows you to do a variety of other things like what you add to your sauce, be it vegetables or meat or even a little bit of red wine uh, later on. So we've got the base of our sauce done. Now we're going to go to adding to it uh, to make it a little oomph uh, to get it going. So we've chopped some onions and Steve, you're going to throw the onions into the uh, pan. Let them start to dump the whole thing in there. Just don't be awesome. shy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let them start sauteing. And uh, you start off with your onions because they require the most cooking. And we'll let them cook here. And they're starting off. To this mixture, we're going to be adding mushrooms, uh, which gives it a nice earthy flavor. And uh, folks seem to always like that. And then after we get our onions sauteed up, which we already have some example here, so we'll just put them into the sauce. The magic of TV, we have some pre-sauteed yep. onions going in right now. It smells delicious, it's it looking does good. Smell good. Now with your onions cooking there, we only have one pan. We want to saute the onions there, and then we have our chopped mushrooms. And the mushrooms can go in once the onions are like a golden brown. And uh, and they're starting to sizzle now. Oh, yeah. uh, when they're golden stuff. brown, mushrooms have a lot of water in them. So when you add them in there for the flavor, leave them uncovered so that the moisture in the mushrooms can evaporate, just leaving the flavor behind. So Steve, why don't you do that now? mixing together quite nicely. Yeah, it's smelling yeah. real good in here. What was the last meal you had, Steve? What did you have last night for dinner? I had some ribs last night. <laughs> I thought you only made PB&J. <laughs> Come on. You're holding out on us. I didn't cook them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. They were good, though. <laughs> so that's our turn away. And we already have some pre-cooked mushrooms here. You'll add those into the sauce there, Steve. There we go. I think we need a visual of this sauce. Let's maybe tip it yeah. up and see how good that looks, all those different textures and flavors. It'll be delicious spaghetti, a little bit of oomph. All right, you want to keep mixing that? Let's do it. Now for informational purposes, all the steps that we have taken so far, including the Parmesan cheese, cost $17.86. That's a deal. It's and a real good deal. This is you can feed 10 people with this, yes. This is great. When my son brings all his teenage friends over, <laughs> I know what I'm making next time. Yeah. And uh, so the onions are getting a little more uh, cooked here. And I like a lot more vegetables in my sauce. And so they're getting almost done. And uh, Steve, you can put those in there too. All right. Yep. Just add it all in there. Yeah. So do you cook a lot, Steve, when you're at home? Uh, not really, because I'm just patting myself. Okay. And uh, cooking for two people is difficult because you you get a lot of waste. That's true. <laughs> a lot of leftovers. A lot of leftovers. So if you stir that up, Steve, now we're to the part where what kind of meat products do you want in? You could uh, put in sausage or we can put in hamburger. All right. And that's what we're going to do right now is uh, put in our hamburger using the same pan that we did before. It's nice and hot. And Steve, why don't you open that and throw that in and, and well, start sizzling that way. And we'll start to get the water boiling here. 
uh, well, that for the I'll pasta. I'll cook. turn that on. Looks good. We yep. are going to head to break while we cook this hamburger and boil this water, but you don't want to miss the final product. product. It's going to be really, really good. So spaghetti Definitely with Steve and Steve. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We are back in the kitchen where president of Deerfield Media, Steve Mumbo, is teaching intern Steve how to make spaghetti for a crowd on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> and through the magic or miracle of a commercial break, we have cooked ground beef and much more. What's next? Okay. <laughs> well, we made our spaghetti sauce and we put in a store-bought spaghetti sauce, Prego in this instance. You can do, use whatever you like. Then you put in a can of puree and a can of paste, okay. which is what we've done. You add a little chopped uh, onions and some mushrooms to give it a good hearty flavor. Why do you start with the store-bought uh, spaghetti sauce? It has all the spices in it. You don't have to buy spices. It's got the oregano, the basil, and everything else. And that is your most expensive items to buy is spices. Yeah. Although we do have a little Italian spice which Steve will use at the end and flavor to his liking. <laughs> All right. So we've made our base spaghetti sauce. And as you see, it takes 10 minutes. Now we're gonna, we browned our ground beef using the same pan that we cooked our onions and mushrooms in. So we're cutting down on what we have to wash. And so Steve, dump it in there All now. All right. And what we have in our kitchen. Do you have any of these pots, pans in your kitchen right now, Steve, here in Park City? I do. You do? Well, okay, whether I will use them is a whole other question. Well, you will now. <laughs> now that you know how to make spaghetti, especially Steve's version, I think you'll be yeah. inspired, right? <laughs> of course. It smells real good. Yeah. It does smell good. So our spaghetti sauce is done. And a, and a good thing with the sauce, you can make this in the morning. And you can go out skiing. And when you come back skiing, in addition to having your friends drop by, but if you're just here on uh, vacation, you can, after skiing, you go to the hot tub and you enjoy the down day. Who wants to cook? No one. It's already done. <laughs> it's done. All you really have to cook is your pasta. And have al dente pasta, it takes seven minutes. And so our water's beginning to boil here. And I'm going to throw in some of our pasta. We're just going to crack it in half here so that it all fits. And mm -hmm. your meal is done in seven minutes. Done and done. And, and you can feed people. Now, if some people say, well, we need a salad for this, you know, especially the younger folks may, may not want the salad. Mm -hmm. But there's always leftover mushrooms. There you go. And we always save a pepper for them. So, so they can have a pepper mushroom salad. That's right. And throw in an onion. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a leftover onion. So it's completely done, mm -hmm. uh, the meal. And um, it's, it's a great and easy way. Now, when we traditionally make this, we also make meatballs. But we're not doing that today. That's, yeah. We're going to yeah. start, start simple. That's a whole other segment. But meatballs yeah. are very <laughs> easy. Time. The secret is using a rye bread with caraway seeds in it. Okay. Just take it, cut the crust off, mix the ground beef with some of your onions and mushrooms and one or two eggs and just make the meatballs, put them in the oven for 45 minutes and they're done. But you really don't need that because there's so much meat product uh, in the spaghetti sauce already. So now 10 minutes, add another 10, 20 minutes, it's done. Done. Ready to go to the table. And we're excited to try it. We are. And this guy likes it. <laughs> good, good. He likes fan. spaghetti. All right, are we going to try it now? What do you uh, think? What's the next step? The next step is we've got to wait for our pasta to cook. Okay, so while okay. that cooks, we'll go to a quick break. Okay. And you'll want to come back to see the finished product and maybe enjoy some bread as well. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back to the Spaghetti Show. We are here making spaghetti with Steve. And Steve, it's, it's done. It's done. It looks no beautiful product. and delicious. Yeah. So th this is what the master chef here has concocted <laughs> in 20 uh, minutes of time. We just need to add one more pea, the final pea, Parmesan. Mm -hmm. and throw a little on top for the flavor. Looks good. Awesome. And, and that's just for you, right? Okay. No one else. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to add a little extra to your spaghetti meal, another inexpensive way of doing it is just go to the baker and get yourself a loaf of bread. And 
I'm going to move this pot out of the way here. Any kind of bread, or do you recommend Well, you want kind? Italian bread. Italian uh, bread. It's not so easy to find Italian bread in Park City. Most of it is uh, sourdough bread or baguettes. This is a baguette. I'd rather have an Italian bread. Okay. But you, t you take it and you just slice it diagonally without going through the bottom of the crust. And just slice it through uh, this as such. Now, what you've done is just take a stick of butter, a, a quarter pound of butter, and then you take some blue cheese. Ooh, blue cheese. Uh, just a container of blue cheese and real easy chopped garlic. It's already chopped. You take it out of the tube and you just squeeze it in. You could do this in the morning. It takes three minutes to do it. And what you're going to end up with is a little bit of batter. It's nothing more than butter, garlic, and blue cheese. I wouldn't have thought to add blue cheese. I really like that. Oh, the blue cheese is wonderful on it. Yeah. And now that you've cut your bread, as a way of an example here, you've got all these spaces in it. Mm. You fan it out. You just take your spoon and fill each of the sections with a little bit of the butter cheese. And you go all the way through. My mouth and is watering. When it's done, it looks delicious. <laughs> you throw it into a toaster oven or an oven that you have, you have at 275 degrees, and you have a wonderful piece of blue cheese garlic bread to go with your spaghetti. Now, after eating that meal, you want to go back to the slopes <laughs> and do a couple of night runs. Or just <laughs> chill in the hot tub. And just, it is. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a quick, simple, easy meal. Add a salad if you want, and you've taken care of your guests. And as I said, we've done all this in 25 minutes. Perfect. I, are you inspired, Steve? I am. I definitely need to cook some spaghetti sometime soon. You definitely, definitely <laughs> do. <laughs> Especially after seeing this recipe. Mm -hmm. It's easy enough, right? It is easy enough. Yeah. I feel confident that you can do it. The five P's. Just got to remember them. Five P's. Absolutely. Should we go over them one more time? It is. Yes. Prego, puree, okay. paste, parmesan, and pasta. Very good. So when you go to the store, you don't need a list. Nope. The five P's and you're set. You are set, absolutely. So Steve, we all want to know, it was cake last time, spaghetti this time. When does the cookbook come out or what are you making next? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, perhaps I'll have Patty out next time and, and she'll oh. bake some uh, uh, miniature pecan pies for us. Oh, I love it. All right, Patty, miniature pecan pies. That is next. All right, well, thank you so much, Steve and Steve, for joining me here on the Mountain Morning Show and making this wonderful spaghetti dish for a crowd on a budget. We have much more coming up. All right under 25 after, minutes. All under 25 <laughs> minutes. Yes, but that being said, I think we have Steve ready. Yeah. Definitely. All right, we have much more coming up right after this break.